Today I want to compare Etherscan.io token approvals versus revoke.cash. I prefer the Etherscan.io token approval at the moment because it gives the better overview if you ask me. To check for approvals on Etherscan you will just move your mouse to more in the upper right and then go on token approvals. Once here you paste your ETH or ENS address in here and click on the magnifying glass. The same goes for revoke.cash, you just paste the ENS or ETH address right in here. Pay attention on revoke.cash, you always need to tick the two boxes include unverified tokens and include zero balances to show everything that you approved. So now we see the ERC20 tokens on Etherscan.io and on revoke.cash. I think Etherscan.io does give the better overview of contracts because we see the OpenSea conduit, for example, which is the current contract and protocol being used by OpenSea, which compared to revoke.cash, we only see that we got two allowances to OpenSea and we have to click on OpenSea and open the links to see which contracts this actually are. So in the tabs, we're seeing that this is the Wyvern token transfer proxy and this one is the OpenSea conduit, which we can see in the overview right in the way. Now switching to ERC721 tokens which are basically all NFTs on Etherscan.io and on revoke.cash. Why I think Etherscan is ahead is you can see the timestamp where you last signed a transaction or an approval for this given contract and within the approved spender you can also see which kind of OpenSea contract you signed. If we just compare Etherscan to revoke.cash again we have the same issue that we have multiple allowances to OpenSea, but we don't know right away which contract or protocol is used. The revoke process itself is pretty similar. On Etherscan.io you would just connect your wallet right here, or on revoke.cash you would collect your wallet right here. Once you're logged into your wallet, you hit the revoke button on either Etherscan.io or on revoke.cash. Then you will get a pop-up which says what you're trying to remove. And if you accept that pop-up, you will get prompted with a transaction that asks you to give your signature with your wallet. This you have to pay a small gas fee to remove the actual approval to a site that you've given out. So most likely you will be using Etherscan or Revoke to get rid of some malicious transaction you signed and this one is an example of how a malicious transaction looks like. Compare this one to the ones we just saw. You see that this approved spender is a random wallet address which is always sketchy. You can always check the wallet address if you click on the approved spender either on Etherscan.io or on Revoke.cash and open this address in a new tab. And we're seeing here we gave allowance to some random wallets which means those would be approvals we want to instantly revoke again you would be logging in hitting that revoke button and then accepting the small gas fee transaction that comes up one last quick tip especially for etherscan.io we can see that there are a lot of approvals for the open conduit which i said is the most recent protocol they are using so this is good but the ownable delegate proxy is the older wyvern protocol from OpenSea, which is now kind of expiring so if you haven't got any listings up for those kind of collections in the old wyvern protocol you could safely remove the approvals for the ownable delegate proxy the same applies for the wrapped ether in the OpenSea Wyvern token transfer protocol because all the new wrapped ether offers are on the conduit protocol, the seaport protocol. But if you bid on very old listings in Weath tokens, you still have to use this. So, so if you want to revoke these permissions, if you're bidding on a very old collection with Weath offers, you might have to re-approve this for a small gas fee. That's it for a quick comparison between Etherscan.io and revoke.cash. Both sites do the same and work perfectly fine. I just prefer Etherscan.io token approval at the moment. See ya guys.